I need to beat it on the second level. If you've got kids, Mark, maybe you can relate to this. No video games in our house, though. Well, chances, though, are pretty good that most of the kids do play video games. Yes, they do, but they can overdo it and actually get addicted to a video screen and a joystick. In tonight's Focus 15, Chris DeBetis has the story of an eighth grader whose mom says is hooked. Fourteen-year-old Shane Smith sells home on a skateboard. But he often gets a bigger rush doing this. The graphics and how it's interacting. With the, how you gotta move your hands with it. I have 1080. It's a snowboarding game. I have 007. James Bond. Shane has his eye on the screen, his hand on a joystick. 180, 180, stiffy. Two or three hours a day. He even admits to pulling an all-nighter with his video buddies. I think you're hooked. No. <laughs> it's just fun to play. Shane says he could go cold turkey. His mom, Shelly Irwin, isn't so sure. It's like he lives, breathes, and eats Nintendo games. But you're his mom. You could say, stop it. Go out and play outside with the kids. I have in the past. I've chased him, you know, on a Saturday afternoon, turn went in and so that's it, taking the control out of his hand. Are we talking about a serious addiction here or just a phase a kid will outgrow? I wouldn't go so far as to say uh, video games are addictive. But child psychiatrist Eric Benjamin says the games are bad news for kids who are obsessive who will not stop playing until they achieve the highest score. So much time spent with the screen and not enough time spent developing ability to communicate with other people. The doctor says to set play limits 30 to 90 minutes a day and only after chores and homework are done. Though Shelly Irwin jokes about Shane's video habits. I refer to him as a video junkie, a Nintendo junkie. She lets him know who's boss. If Shane doesn't do his homework, this game is over. With photographer Mike Zapata, Chris Cabitas, News 15. All right, what do you think? Does your child have a video problem? Well, here are some of the signs to look for. Do they spend so much time playing the games they shirk other responsibilities? How about do they refuse to play with other kids? Siblings, maybe? Do they skip homework? Well, doctors say parents need to remember they are in control. Parents, we need to remember that. And if a kid does not obey you, Take the game away until they do. And Just boy, with the weather this great, encourage the kids to go play get outside. outside and, play, exactly. yeah. and we are warming up as we get closer to the weekend. Ed Phillips shows us how hot it will get in his forecast. But first, we'll show you just how powerful the winds were at one airport. And why schools in the South are saying no to one popular music group's free concert. Right now, though, another dip on Wall Street. Check out the